And many Marylanders are simply trying to take this latest winter weather in stride. Yep. There's not much else you can do. There but, isn't. Yeah. Lisa Robinson, as you know, she likes to boast that she knows how to drive <laughs> in the snow. She continues our team coverage live in Hunt Valley. Lisa, how are the roads for you? I have to tell you, getting over here to Hunt Valley, I got on 83 and then York Road. 83 was pretty good around 2 o'clock, uh, but then there were still parts of it. You know, you go in parts of it and it was plowed down and then the snow just kept going and going. So it was a little dicey and there were way too many people on the road and way too many people driving fast. They need to slow down if they're going to drive in this stuff. York Road was covered too, but they're, they're working hard at it. And joining me right now is Baltimore County Executive Kevin Kamenetz with an update on how it looks around Baltimore County. Well, Lisa, it's exactly what you just said. Uh, I'm surprised how many people actually are on the roads, but I see a lot of four-wheel vehicles. But obviously, you know, people should be home. They should stay home as much as possible because they, uh, frankly, if they break down, they just get in the way of our plows. And our, our guys have really been working hard, and I just want to thank our county employees. They've been going since uh, very early this morning. Uh, and uh, working all day and they're going to be working all night. We actually have over 500 county employees out there and contractors who are working on 386 pieces of equipment. Uh, they're doing all the plowing now uh, and it's obviously uh, it's still coming down pretty hard and uh, they, they have to do multiple rounds of, of uh, runs on each of the roads. Uh, later tonight when the snow stops then they'll start all the plowing uh, I'm sorry all the salting uh, and they'll do that all night as well so it's it's a long haul for our folks all right what's the cost of all this to the county hey it, it's a lot of money you know in terms of general uh, cost we we do an annual budget of six million dollars but it's really just a placeholder uh, some years it's more some years it's less this year we're we're pushing 12 million wow. and fortunately uh, we have a surplus that we uh, a fund balance that we draw from from and uh, we'll reconcile that but uh, you know we got to do it right all right, right all right thank you so much for joining me be right. safe out there yeah all right nice. all right and so you guys I'm here at Hunt Valley and I have to tell you I'm pretty disappointed Panera's closed Chipotle's closed <laughs> noodles closed I mean I couldn't even get something to eat over here everything's closed how's Panera closed <laughs> anyway what, check what's back a with us at four, what's a reporter to do right I know. Well, what, what restroom are you going to use? That's what I need to know. I Sorry, have to truck all the way up to Wegmans. <laughs> yeah. By the way, add Subway to that list. At least a couple that I passed. You know,